Hey guys in St. Charles, I'm your neighbor, Andrew, uh, or Drew. We're right here around the corner from uh, the St. Charles Costco on North Avenue. Visit us anytime, give us a call. We're happy to help you out. I am here to teach you what's in your water. So people move here to St. Charles and they go, what is going on? My skin, my hair, my faucets, my dishwasher, my laundry, my shower stall. Oh my God, yes, it is it does have a lot of rock in the water. That's calcium. That white film is calcium. So um, it is important to understand that that's because the city has drilled holes in the earth, deep well aquifers, and when they access the water, that water is sitting in a layer of bedrock. So it takes on that characteristic and it pulls it up and out of the, uh, out of the earth. Remember, I've taught people that the water droplet is the best party bus on the planet. Everything wants to jump on board. So as it's traveling to your home, as it's down in the aquifer, it takes on the characteristic of what it touches. So that is why your water comes out so hard. That's why you get dry itchy skin. This is why you get dry brittle, brittle hair. Uh, ladies or people that have really long hair, they're constantly going in and getting the ends trimmed and doing deep conditioning treatments. Well, you can really drastically reduce that if you get rid of the rock out of the water. That's the reason for it. Also, some people say, oh my God, I'm losing my hair from it. Well, rock does clog the hair follicles or clog the pores of the skin. So that, I don't know for sure if it does it, but that does tend to be the case that I've been told by many of our clients. Now, in order to get that out, you're wondering, what can I do? Well, uh, the city not only takes it out of the earth, but they also add chlorine to the water. That chlorine does what? It's In fact, on the side of the bottle, it says danger, danger. You know, you gotta be very careful with chlorine, right? What chlorine does is it dries out the skin. It dries out the hair follicle. So a good quality water softener that also takes out chlorine is dynamite for your market. So it, we love NSF 44 listed water softeners. That means that they've been proven to take out the rock out of the water after they threw thousands of gallons of water at it. NSF stands for National Sanitation Foundation. Mostly these are American made systems. There's a couple of companies out there who do that. You want to get that exact certification because it will mean that it lasts longer. At Angel, we sell all makes and models, the, the least expensive to the best ones. And what you'll find is right there in the middle, American made good, good quality products are gonna do the job for you and last a long time. So now, what is in the water, you ask? I, can I drink the water? Well, let's learn what's in it. First and foremost, you gotta understand what's in your water so that you can understand what you got to get out of it, right? There's arsenic in the water, bridomo, dry, bro, bromodo, bromodichlormethylene, I'm so sorry. These are hard to say, tongue twisters. Bromoform, chloroform, dibromoacidic acid. There's dibromochloromethylene. Uh, There's dichloroacidic acid. There's haloacidic acids. Yes, they're tongue twisters, and it hasn't stopped there. Haloacidic acids, radium, 228 and 226. By the way, NSF 44 listed water softeners are certified to take that out of the whole house. Then there's uh, total trihalomethylenes and trichloroacidic acids. Also, what the movie Aaron Brockovich story was about. That is the movie that uh, Julia Roberts won her Best Actress Award. I've read articles that uh, hexavalent chromium-6 is also in your water. So. What do we want to do about all that, right? Do I even want to drink the water? Well, nobody else's water is really that much better. In bottled water, there's no guarantee that they don't have it because this meets EPA standards and any bottler, all they have to do is buy water from a city and they can bottle it and sell it to you. Literally, right from the city's tap, put it in a bottle, sell it to you, and you think it's better. Well, I, I'm here to tell you that that not necessarily is the case. You have to do your research. What I like to do is I like to be able to find an NSF 58 listed reverse osmosis system to get all those out of there. Yes, it's a mouthful. National Sanitation Foundation 58. Most of the time, a, an American-made, good quality reverse osmosis system will take that out. It's your job to find one. That is what you put it under the kitchen sink and you drink that every day. Hydrate your body with it. Remember, your body is literally 75% water. Your brain is 90% water. 
your body. It's a filter. It is designed to take things out of the water or it takes take things out of what you eat and what you consume. So literally it grabs it and it makes it you. I mean, you think about it, you eat a banana today, right now, and within four hours, you're that banana. If you drink a glass of water four minutes, you're the glass of water, right? So I'm passionate about making sure that you understand if you want to truly live more healthy, if you're looking to live a little, maybe possibly a little longer life, can't say for sure, but it makes sense, doesn't it, to flush this body with good, clean water. If you need any assistance with that, stop and visit us uh, at Angel Water in St. Charles. Call us, 847-382-7800. You can see us on the web at angelwater.com or drop me a note down in the YouTube article here. Uh, and I'd be happy to be able to uh, answer that question the best that I possibly can. I'll get to you as soon as I can as well. If you like this video, if you've got friends and family that live by you, that you love and care for, please share this video. Let's make sure all of our neighbors knows what's in the water so they can do a good job and helping their family get that stuff out. Again, I'm Drew. Thank you so much. It's an honor to serve you.